What's going on YouTube? Nicholas here with Tech Love TV, where we don't discriminate and we believe all tech deserves some love. Yeah. See some love, it's love day. I'm yeah, sure man. people love out here on the court. I do this for y'all, man. So they are finally here. The long awaited iPhone 11. Now these are the uh, iPhone 11 Pro Maxes. I do have them in the white version and the space gray version. Space gray will be mine. The white one's going to my wife. 512 gigs, 256 gigs. But before we get into all that, if this is your first time here, go ahead and smash that subscribe button down below and don't forget, hit that bell icon so you get notifications on when I drop my latest tech videos. And one more thing, I would like to give a huge, huge shout out to everybody that showed me support and love because recently I was able to get through on The Breakfast Club. It's a radio station, I think it's Power 105.1 in New York one of the biggest radio stations in the entire country and i was able to shout out my channel and let me get focused real quick um if you have a I'm trying to get to 10,000 subscribers by the end of this year. So if everybody can go to my YouTube channel. Nah, you should follow Clue. Go follow Clue. Don't follow do that Clue. to that man. Let that man get his YouTube off. You still going in What's on What's your Clue? YouTube, bro? Turner, it's a, Nicholas Turner is a tech page on YouTube. So just uh, support. That's all I got. All right, That's King. That's all I got. All right, man. <laughs> that, bro. And there was just an amazing amount of love and support that was shown to me after I was able to plug my own YouTube channel in. I really appreciate all the love and support that I got from that. So shout out to everybody that heard me on The Breakfast Club. I salute you. Now, I just wanted to shoot this quick video for just a real quick unboxing and first impressions. There are a ton of videos already out there with that go deep dive into the specs and everything. And I will have the YouTube links up here to the ones that I thought provided the most information, mainly from my main YouTubers that I follow. So. If I don't get into the specs that you want to hear on this quick unboxing and first impressions, just go ahead and click on one of the links up here and that video will be able to give you a lot more information that I plan on giving in this video. So let's start with pricing. The iPhone 11 starts out at $9. The iPhone 11 Pro starts out at $999. And the iPhone 11 Pro Max starts out at $1099. Now, depending on what gig size you get, it obviously will go up. Now the iPhone 11 Pro Max, there's three different gig sizes. You got your 64 gig, you have your 256 gig, and you have your 512 gig. So I hear a lot of people talking about, oh my God, it's so much for that phone. It's over a thousand dollars if I want to get the iPhone 11 Pro Max and all of this. But let's be honest, people. How many of you actually go out and buy the phone and pay the thousand dollars for it. Normally, most people, in my opinion, they pay their monthly fee of, depending on which phone they get. So let's just take the worst case scenario for the iPhone 11 Pro Max. If you don't have a phone that you wanna trade in, but you still wanna get this phone, you can go through any carrier, you'll have a monthly payment plan to pay down this phone. And so for the iPhone 11 Pro Max, which you'll be paying a month, for the 64 gig, you'll be paying $45 a month. For the 256 gig, you'll be paying $52 a month. And for the 512 gig, you'll be paying around $60 a month. Now, $60 a month for iPhone 11 Pro Max. So 60 times 12. Hey Google, what's 60 times 12? The answer is 720. So you'll be paying $720 let's just say if you got this when it first came out and you want to get the next one in about a year when the next phone comes out, $720. So you're not even paying the full amount and you might have to pay an upgrade fee depending on what carrier you go through. I know Verizon, they charge me, I think around $80 or something for an upgrade fee. So I'm paying ultimately $800 for this phone until I get the next one. Now, my math might be off a little bit, and if you think my math is off and you know my math is off, go ahead and leave me a comment down below. But that's what I'm anticipating paying for the life of this phone. Now, that doesn't include the cell phone plan that you have to get when you get these phones. I'm just talking about the phone itself. Okay, so now let's unbox these. Space Gray, let's open a Space Gray version up first. You got the tab on the bottom side real quick. iPhone makes it real nice and easy to get in here. And here it is, people, the space gray. It has a matte finish on the back, and 
it is it's actually a little bit heavier. I mean, this thing feels solid. I, it's, a, it's a little bit, it's a bigger battery in here. So you get around, I think it's like 3,962 milliamp hour battery. And it's, I think they said it's about an estimated four additional hours per day, depending on how you use your phone. But yo, <laughs> this thing feels solid right here. I am very impressed so far. So you got your three cameras set up on the back side. You got your ultra wide, wide, and telephoto lens and i mean this thing is just nice in the hand the back side is not a fingerprint magnet like the last like the iphone 10s max that i had and i mean wow i'm I, I really can't say how how impressed i am about it i haven't even turned this on yet um so let me put that to the side so what else you get in the box you have some some literature you have some stickers you have your iphone sim ejector tool you do have the standard apple headphones and you also get a usb type c to lightning cable i don't know why iphone just doesn't make the full switch to usb type c on their phone and then you also have the new improved charging brick now i think that the iphone 11 pro max and the iphone 11 pro have the bigger charging brick i think believe this is an 18 watt charging brick for faster charging and that's pretty much it, everything that comes inside of the box. So quick rundown of the specs, you have your six and a half inch OLED display, Face ID, A13 chip, six gigs of RAM, 12 megapixel front facing camera, and you have your 12 mega megapixel rear facing cameras with your wide, ultra wide, and telephoto lens, Wi-Fi 6, I already talked about the battery, which is around 3,900, and I believe it was, 62 milliamp hour or something like that but it's really close to 4,000 hours now let me go ahead and unbox the white one which is going to my wife i think she wanted white or gold i don't know either way she got the white one and she has the 256 gig one because she just doesn't do as much on her phone download as much video um take as many videos as i do on my phone so she definitely got the smaller one but I mean, it's still nice. You got your, come on, get off. You got your white frosty back. And in comparison, I mean, I do like the matte finishes. I do like these matte finishes better on these phones. Now, I know a lot of people were really into that forest green color, but I don't know, that just wasn't for me. I, I'm, not, I'm not really feeling that green color. I know a lot of people are. I would have liked to seen maybe iPhone come out with like maybe a reddish color or some type of blue color not go with green I don't know what made them go with green. But anyways, I know a lot of people do like it I'm not one of those people, but whatever and, and inside this one you do get the same stuff stickers charging brick headphones charging cable Whatever nothing different over here. Oh, and so I Don't know how you feel about this phone, but as I was watching the Apple event there was one app that really really got me hyped about this phone and that is the filmic pro app and i don't want to mess anything up in describing it so i'm gonna run this clip really fast it's about a two minute clip and it explains exactly what the filmic pro app is and what it can do i shot tangerine on iphone using filmic pro and i've been working closely with chris and the filmic team ever since now every shot has the right lens as a filmmaker, it's my job to figure out which lens that is. On set, I use a tool called the Director's Viewfinder. It helps me find a frame and choose focal length. Filmmakers have been doing it like this for nearly 75 years. But what if you could use what we're all going to have in our pockets? We're delighted to preview the next version of Filmic Pro. It's going to move filmmaking forward. Let's take a look at the next generation of lens selection. We've divided the viewfinder into individual feeds visualizing every field of view available on the new iPhone. With the new A13 and the higher sustained performance of the new iPhone, you can shoot with our most complex capture pipeline up to five times longer than before. But now you can shoot with multiple cameras at the same time, giving filmmakers even more options. And I love that because it's totally transformative. With two cameras rolling in Filmic Pro, I get twice as much coverage on the same take 
reducing my number of takes and giving me more options in post. To facilitate that, we employ a compound overlay representing the primary and secondary cameras. While both are being recorded simultaneously, I can focus in on my a cam to compose or back up to see my widest field of view. I'm always excited when I see evolution in filmmaking style and craft, and this multicam feature will give me new creative options for covering scenes, such as how I would approach the traditional shot reverse shots. That's right, Sean. We can even couple this incredible ultra-wide camera with the front-facing camera. This enables me to capture the organic and intimate interaction between two individuals in one unbroken take with a single unobtrusive device. So I can literally take the audience and slap them right in the middle of a conversation. It's not only incredible for narrative storytelling, it will be wonderful for documentaries and journalism as well. The ability to record multiple videos, this amazing sustained performance, and this incredible ultra-wide lens, it's all in one device. It's gonna change this industry. The all-new Filmic Pro will be available later this year, only in the App Store. Thank you. And so that was it, man. That was the Filmic Pro app. I can't wait to get that Filmic Pro app on this phone, and I think I'm going to try to start shooting some of my YouTube videos and that, or just videos in general. I really like that four camera setup that you can shoot simultaneously and then you can pick which one at the same time or you can just do all four at the same time or three or whatever. But I really, really enjoy that. And so, man, I am impressed by this phone so far. iOS 13 on here, dark mode, all of that, and the new camera qualities and everything. And so let me get back to the price real quick. So the pricing, even if you paid full price for the phone, I think of it like this. Your cell phone might be the single most important device in your life. Think about it. Everything that you do with a cell phone, communicate with a cell phone, get food with a cell phone. You can take, you can plan trips with a cell phone. You can call a taxi, Uber, Lyft, whatever with a cell phone. So many things that you can do with your cell phone. It has been integrated so much into our lifestyle that there's a lot of people out there that just live off of their cell phone, whether they're heavy on social media or they just use it to run a business. They or they have it for entertainment purposes. Having a smartphone device, whether it's the iPhone, some sort of Galaxy phone, most people depend heavily on their cell phone. It's the first thing that they pick up in the morning, whether they want to read some uh, scripture out of the Bible or some in inspirational quote, watch an uplifting YouTube video at night, closing out the day, reading emails, sending a message to somebody, watching a video or just meditating using your cell phone. This is a big part of most people's lives. So paying the, I don't know, the thousand dollars or whatever for that, I think it's worth it, to be honest with you. I completely think it's worth it. Okay, so that's it, man. This is just an unboxing, a first impressions video. I might come back and go do a deep dive really get into the specs and everything with this phone. I'm, I'm still thinking about that because there's a bunch of other people out there that's already done that. And I'll just, like I said, I'll post their YouTube cards up here. But anyways, first impression, unboxing, this phone is solid. I never really had a problem with the three camera setup on the back. I enjoy it. I think it looks nice. I think Apple did an amazing job with it. And I'm extremely excited to get into that Filmic Pro app download that i think it's about 5.99 a month or 4.99 a month to use that but for me no i think it's 4.99 to download it and then you just have it um but for me i'm really feeling this phone and yeah so that's it this is my video unboxing first impressions of the iphone 11 pro max if this is your first time here go ahead and smash that subscribe button down below and don't forget hit the bell icon so you get notifications on when I drop my latest tech videos. My name is Nicholas and I'm out. Peace.